What's up guys, today we got an awesome video and I'm super excited to bring this to you because we all have to deal with broken bolts and extracting them is a complete pain in the rear. And I'm gonna show you a product that's going to dramatically improve your chances of getting those broken bolts out. So you guys stick around because I'm gonna show you the best extractor on the planet. All right, guys, like I mentioned in the intro to this video, today we're gonna be talking about broken bolt extractors, and I'm going to show you the best extractors on the planet that are made up to this date. Now, some will probably disagree with me, but I can promise you, if there's a chance to get a bolt out, these extractors right here will be your best fighting chance. I'm gonna give you some real life demos where they're used and we showed them how they work on this channel before, and honestly, out of the complete entire RBRT line that Mac had, these are my favorite RBRT extractors. A lot of people have asked me, what is the best extractors made? You know, is it the tapered extractors, is it the fluted, whatever, blah, blah, blah. My answer has always been the Mac RBRT. Well, Grip Edge, the maker of the Mac RBRT, has came out with this set here and I'm going to show it to you today and show you why you need to have a set of these. Now like I said they came out with these under the Mac RBRT brand but since they've launched them under Grip Edge they've made some changes and the set is even better. So we're going to get into that. We're going to talk about the pros and cons of why you need to have a set of these extractors and that way it gives you the best fighting chance to remove a broken bolt because when you break one off, it's obviously a bad day, but these will help you make it not suck as much. So let's get into talking about extractors. Obviously the reason why a bolt breaks off is because it's stuck, right? It don't just break off because it decided to break off that day. One of the problems with every other extractor on the market is once you drive it in, and you go to turn it, whether it be left or right, it doesn't matter if it's a straight extractor, it doesn't matter if it's a tapered extractor, if you need to remove that to apply heat to the broken bolt that's inside, whatever you're working on, the problem is getting it off. And then once you do get it off, you've already chewed up the top of your bolt hole that you're trying to extract. So then it gets even more wobblier, which really sucks. So the reason why these are different, let's say you've got this bolt broken off, you hammer your extractor in, you need to remove it to apply heat. You simply turn the FOR sleeve, which stands for foreign object removal, twist down on it, and it will pop the extractor out of the broken bolt. You can heat that then you can go back and put the extractor back in. One of the advantages of these extractors is the cut design that they use. They are a straight extractor and they have a twist to them that allows it to bite and pull that pressure to the center. As you guys know how wedges work, that's exactly how the tapered extractors work in real life. It pushes in and it pulls that pressure outwards, which ineffectively binds the threads against whatever it's attached to, making it even harder. Now they do have some straight cut fluted extractors, but they obviously don't have the biting ability that you get with these grip edge ones. These are hands down the best extractors made on the planet. And I will stand behind that to the day I die or somebody invents one that's better than these, but these are hands down the best way to go. Another advantage of using these is let's say you get it drove down in there and it does have a little bit of wobble to it. You simply tighten the sleeve down until it touches the base a little snug pressure, and now it's completely firm because it covers more surface area on the top of the extractor. 
And then once you extract your bolt, the problem with every other extractor on the market is how to get the broken bolt off the extractor without damaging your extractor. And that's where this FOR sleeve comes in. It's the greatest invention ever. ever. You simply twist it and it will pop that bad boy right off the end with no damage whatsoever to the teeth. Like I explained, there will be a demo later in this video that's gonna show you this in real life use with real tools on a real piece of steel. But not only does it remove the broken bolts, you can remove cap screws, Phillips screws, anything you need to as long as you can drill a hole in it and drive the extractor in it because this set covers a huge variety of sizes. First off, let's talk about the case. Grip Edge did an extremely nice job on this case. It's small enough to fit in your toolbox drawer, take the whole thing with you to the job, that way you use the right extractor. The problem with the other extractor set that RBRT has that's sold under the Mack truck, the sizing for the extractor to drill bit combo was only placed on the foam tray. Grip Edge improved that since then and actually laser etched it on the tool itself. So if you've got this number six extractor, you can clearly read that you need a 5 16 drill bit. Well, you don't have to walk all the way to your box to get a drill bit. You simply remove this layer and there is your drill bits underneath. Clearly marked there, so it corresponds with the extractor, which is a fabulous idea. One of the other things that Grip Edge did to help you remove broken bolts is they've included left-hand drill bits. We all know that using a left-hand drill bits a lot of times will be the answer to that broken bolt coming out of that hole and you simply put it in there and many times the drill bit will get it out. If it doesn't, you've already got your hole pre-drilled to use your extractors. They thought of everything. This is the complete final and last extractor set that you will need. So it comes with a size one through number seven. A number one and number two is perfect for strip Phillips head screws. Simply drill a hole, drive these bad boys in, extract it and go on about your day. Um, I wanna talk about the warranty real quick before we get into the tool demo. Obviously the drill bits do not have a lifetime warranty these extractors do have a lifetime warranty. So that's a huge plus. This will be the best and last extractor set that you need to purchase in your lifetime. So let's talk about the part number real quick. It is a GE14FORSESRPT. If you're looking for these, the box has all the greasy info that you're looking for. So let's talk about how awesome they work and show you with a real life demo. Instead of shooting a complete video and beating the same dead horse again, I shot a video with Dan Sire from Mac RBRT team. Same tool, different name, same tool. And that way, he can show you how this tool is to properly be used and how it works and how awesome that it truly is. So we're gonna cut to that video. And I did this video a couple of years ago and you guys can see the difference in the tools, how they look, but they are exactly the same tool made by the same people under the same patent in the exact same factory. These are just a lot nicer because of the case and the drill bits and all the good stuff that comes with it. Really nice case. So let's go to this video. Hey guys, Dan Steyer with the RBRT team here again today. I'm gonna to talk to you about our new broken bolt extractor with FOR technology, foreign object removal technology. That is it right there. And as you can see at a glance, it is a straight cut extractor, not a tapered extractor like that one. See how that one is tapered? Mine is a straight cut. 
And what that means is when you drill a hole, snap the head off a bolt and drill a hole and you bang in my extractor, you get bite 360 degrees and all the way down. Not like a tapered extractor when you drill a hole and you bang it in, you only get bite at the top leading edge, uh -huh. right? One of the other things about a tapered extractor over my extractor is that when you bang it in and you apply torque, it stretches to the corners, it pushes to the outside edges, effectively fighting against the threads trying to dig it out. With my RBRT extractor, if you have a look at the head, the teeth are swept to the left. So it pulls the pressure inward rather than pushing to the outside corners, a much more efficient way to extract a threaded piece of metal. See how those teeth are swept inward? So when you bang mine in and you start pulling it, applying torque, it pulls that pressure inward rather than pushing to the outside corners like a tapered one. So Clay, what I've got here is a demo block. And in that demo block, I'm using a cap screw. But let's say for argument's sake, for purposes that I've snapped the head off a bolt and I've drilled a hole. That's what we have here. So it's not just about cap screws. It can be used on broken studs, anything like that. But I use a cap screw to demo. It's easier for me to do. Right. So we've drilled our hole. We've, we've snapped our bolt. We've drilled our hole. Now we're going to pound our extractor in. All right. Now, an extractor only has one job and that's to bite. The better the bite, the better your chances of getting it out, Absolutely. right? So what we're gonna do here, I've got Jay to help me demo this and I'm gonna give Jay a ratchet. Yes, dummy. And Jay, what I'd like you to do is, in the tightening position so that you can see how well these bite in, go ahead and tighten that down. And I mean, don't, don't be gentle, tighten it down. How's that? Oh. Isn't that something? Mm-hmm. That's a, that is a great bite. That is the best bite of any extractor on the planet. So go ahead and take her out. Reverse her on out of there, Jay. And out she comes. So in a perfect world, we're, told, we're pulling out the broken bolt. Yep. And out she comes. All right. Well done. So now at this point, the next hurdle that we'd have to overcome is to try to separate this to get it apart, right? Now, if you have a look at this one here, the damage was done after trying to get the piece off. It exactly. smashed it all bad, just, it's destroyed one, one time, out. So foreign object removal is our little threaded sleeve that spins down like that, right? And Jay, what I'd like you to do is take that wrench and grab that bolster right there, okay. and then use the ratchet, and that little threaded sleeve just walks it right off the edge. Go ahead. Like a puller? Yeah. Well, ain't that the coolest thing in the Look at that. Look at that. And because it pushes it off straight and clean, it doesn't damage the head whatsoever. They can be reused over and over and over again. That is amazing. Isn't that something? And you could do that right at the car. It shows how deep it bites into it. Mm -hmm. That was I a guess, pretty good bite for very little depth. So the way this is, it, like obviously that would be the head was broken off the bolt, right? And it would be in the F part or flush, whatever you're using. Sure. You would drill a hole. Yep. And I'm assuming it has the drill bit sizes marked. Indeed, it does. On the foam tray that these come in, right. the seven-piece set, there's a drill bit index right on there. It takes the guesswork out of what drill bit to use. So you want to drill out the bolt, drive this in as far as you can, because. Obviously, the deeper it is, the more surface area it's going to grab. Correct. So, so uh, there, now that sleeve performs a couple of other functions that are really neat. I mean, if that's where it stopped, that'd be awesome, right? But it does a couple of other really cool things, too. So we're going to go ahead and drive our, extent, our extractor back into the hole. And tighten it down. Now, let's say for sake that sometimes when you are extracting a broken bolt, it's kind of an art form. It's kind of a dance, you know, a little back and forth, a little bit of lubrication. Sometimes you got to apply the heat. Sometimes you got to pull out the torch and heat the bolt. If you were to put the naked flame straight to that tool, you're going to burn your tool up and it's going to soften the metal of the tool and, and possibly damage it. What that little sleeve can do is it threads down like that and you can grab yourself a pair of pliers and it'll pop it straight up out of the hole. Now, without damaging the hole, without damaging the tool, now you can go ahead and heat that extract that 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 metal up 
pound your extractor back in. Now it's all about the bite. That's the third time I've pounded that extractor into that hole. Jay, put a little torque on that, tighten it down. Just see how well it puts in. They bite down just as well the third time as it did the first time. Isn't that something? It's all about the bite. So let's say that you've, you've, you've heated your bolt. Now if you were using a tapered extractor and you banged it in, a lot of times you can get some waller, you know, or chew it up because you've softened that bolt, right. right? Well, the tremendous head bite will stop that from happening. But another little neat thing that that sleeve will do is just spin it down and just give it a little snug, just a little half a turn. Now you've created a little bit of reverse pressure and you've reinforced the head, okay? And it makes the whole thing super stable, super, that just gives you a nice stable platform to extract that piece of metal and reinforces the head. It's not sloppy. It's not sloppy at all. So we'll go ahead and, and we'll crack that bad boy loose and pull her out. And you can see just how nice, how well that works. That is amazing. And then once again, we grab it with the ratchet. And another thing with the traditional, when you break one off in a hole, you've got problems. Then you have to worry about drilling through that one. So not so much with this design. Nope. And there you go. So, you know, another neat little feature of, of our extractor sleeve is, is, is quite simply this. It's not magic. It doesn't scare the threaded piece out of the hole. Okay. If it can be unthreaded, if it can be removed through the unthreading method, our extractor will get it out. Sometimes you gotta drill and tap, that's life, right? But because of that neat little sleeve, if you've, even after you've heated it and you've pounded it back out and it's not coming out, you can just use that little sleeve to pop it out of there go on about drilling and tapping that hole out and go on about your day. So in other words, you're saying if there's a chance it can come out by unthreading, this tool will definitely Absolutely. Do Absolutely we'll get it out. That's an extremely bold statement. That is a bold statement. And, and after seeing the demo, I can pretty much agree with you on that because that is impressive. You know, it is just steel. It is. It does have a stressing point. It has a, a torque maximum. If you're working it and whatever you're working on is not coming out, don't over torque the tool. Just simply pop it out, go ahead and drill it, tap it, do what you've got to do to get that car down the road. But that is the best extractor on the planet. RBRT with foreign object removal. All right, as you guys seen from the video, these truly work. This is the max set, the same exact set as here. You can see the size difference and the toolbox real estate it's gonna take up. Um, it's pretty much the same depth as you guys can see. Um, this set just has the drill bits and it comes in a really nice case and they even put rubber feet on it so it don't slide off or scratch your roll carts or whatever. So let's talk about this complete set real quick. These will be available for every tool truck to purchase. If you have a tool truck and they're part of the mobile tool network, you'll be able to get these from your tool man there. And for an added bonus, mobile tool network is including one of the heavy duty spring tool center punches to go with this. And that way you have a complete set for all your extraction needs. It's an extremely nice 10,000 PSI heavy duty centering you know, punch and that way you can make sure that you keep your drill put right in the center of the broken bolt. Um, they also will be available through Grip Edge's website once the order fulfillment goes through to the tool trucks and I'm pretty sure they will also have them on Amazon as well. So you can be looking for those if you don't have a tool truck or if your tool truck is not signed up with Mobile Tool Network. And if they're not, it's just costing you to have, to go somewhere else to buy really good tools at a much more affordable price. But anyway, guys, that's the video today. Grip Edge FOR Broken Bolt Extractor Set, the last extractors you will ever need check these out 
Like always, guys, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for hanging out with us today. If you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over there for merchandise and all the links to tools is down in the description if you want to check those out. And if you're not subscribed, all you have to do is click that little button and you're in. It's totally free. You guys have a great week and we will catch y'all later. See ya.